Hey guys, it's Kevy Dog 4. My battery is running low, so I'm gonna have to make this video as quick as I can. I have this in my game 2 recap, so I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna stop talking, just go. So, Warriors 110, Cavaliers 77. Golden State leads the series 2 to nothing. Um, field goal percentage Golden State 54.3%. Cleveland 35.4%, three-point field goal percentage, Golden State 45.5%, Cleveland 21.7%, rebounds, Golden State 46, Cleveland 34, points in the pink, Golden State 50, Cleveland 40. So, players that were good, Draymond Green 28 points and 5 assists, Steph Curry 9 rebounds, LeBron James led in all categories for Cleveland, 19 points, 8 rebounds, and 9 assists, 4 steals and a block, and Andrew Bogut 5 blocks. So, overall highs for the game. Points, Draymond Green, 28. Rebounds, Steph Curry, 9. Assists, LeBron James, 9. Steals, LeBron James, 4. Blocks, Andrew Bogut, 5. Three-pointers, Draymond Green, 5. So, my prediction for Game 2 versus the reality. Um, I predicted a bounce-back game for J.R. Smith and better shooting for Kevin Love. J.R. Smith in Game 1 was 1 for 3 on regular field goals, and they were all 3s. And Game 2, he was 2 for 6 on field goals and 1 for 4 on 3s. So, it, it looks like he went down in percentage. He shot a little bit more, but he was no better. Kevin Love in Game 1 was 7 for 17 on field goals and 2 for 5 on 3-point field goals. Game 2, he was 2 for 7, so that went way down. 1 for 4 on 3-point field goals, so that went down a little bit. He was hit with an elbow in the second quarter and he left game in the third quarter. Now he's under concussion concussion protocol so both those guys their shooting went down and it was definitely not a bounce back game for J.R. Smith I predicted more minutes for Channing Fry and Matthew Dellavedova Channing Fry definitely not game one he was he played seven minutes and ten seconds game two he only played three minutes and 52 seconds he was in one time in I think the second quarter and then they pulled him out he never made another appearance in the game Matthew Dellavedova in game one played 10 minutes and 54 seconds game two his minutes went way up 16 minutes 42 seconds lots of those were in garbage time but he played some in the earlier minutes of the game as well I predicted a different defense, but no, they stuck with the zone. They did not change their defense at all, and if anything, it got worse because they didn't even want to defend the guys. They seemed to want to give up. Better bench rotation, I predicted, and this is all for Cleveland, by the way. Um, game 1, Iman Shumpert had the most minutes off the bench with 16 minutes and 47 seconds. Game 2, there were three guys that got decent bench minutes. Richard Jefferson, yeah, Richard Jefferson with 26 minutes and 1 second, and Matthew Dellavedova. 16 minutes and 42 seconds, and Iman Shumpert, 19 minutes and 53 seconds. So, their bench rotation, a little bit better, but not perfect. Just a lot of guys. The rest of the guys played a lot in garbage time. Those guys actually got minutes off the bench in the normal game, but um, not very many for the most part, except for Jefferson. He did not play in garbage time as much, and Shumpert played lots all around the game. So, I predicted for Golden State, Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson to have good shooting. Stephen Curry, very good, 7 for 11 on field goals, 4 for 8 on threes. Klay Thompson, also good, 6 for 13 on regular field goals, 4 for 8 on three-point field goals. So, they bounced back big time. They did not score in above 20 points, but they did an excellent job in their shooting percentages. Um, I predicted less bench production for Golden State. In game one, they went 19 for 33 on field goals, 3 for 6 on 3-point field goals. Game two, they were 17 for 26, so that went up, and 2 for 7 on 3-point field goals, so that went down a little bit, but their bench production was better, so wrong prediction there as well. And I based all my predictions on Cleveland winning this game, and they got horribly beaten, so that doesn't help these predictions. So I... I predicted um, different offensive struggles for Golden State than last game. It was Steph Curry and Klay Thompson couldn't shoot. This time, they could. Draymond Green was amazing. Starters in Game 1 were 24 for 55 on field goals, 6 for 21 on 3-point field goals. Game 2, 27 for 57 on field goals, 13 for 26 on 3-point field goals. So they actually were more efficient, and I've got to hurry. Um, 
Big fourth quarter for Cleveland, no, it was all garbage time. Outscored 28-15 in the quarter, trailed 82-59 at the end of the third. Terrible, no, did not happen. Improvements from, and prediction versus reality. I, what did I predict for the score, actually? Let me go back. The actual score was 110-77. to I predicted 109-101 for the Cavaliers. Nope, didn't happen. Improvements from game one, made and not made. This is a new category. Cleveland did not make any of the improvements I said they needed to make in game one. They did not make the improvement for more substitutions to avoid tired fourth quarter starters. The starters didn't even play in the fourth quarter, so that didn't even happen. More presence. Shooting from J.R. Smith. No, he was two for six from field goals. One for four, three-point field goals. No, he's barely, he barely did anything. More use of Channing Fry. No, minutes went from 7.10 to 3.52. Get Mozgov in against Bogut. He only played against Bogut for the last couple, or the first minute, couple minutes of the fourth quarter, and then the rest of it was garbage time. He only played in the fourth quarter, and all the minutes came when it was too late for any changes to be made. Uh, play man defense, nope, they played his own. Less turnovers. Game one, they had 15. Game two, 17. So, nope, that didn't improve either. Golden State improvements. They made almost all their improvements, including Curry and Thompson shooting. Um, they combined 8 for 27 in the first game. 13 for 24, game two. More ball movement to tire out Cleveland earlier. Yes, they had a significant lead by the third quarter. They did not make the improvement to play Bogut more in the early minutes. He played less minutes in game two than game one, but he did a good job. So, highlights. Close first quarter, 21-19 Cleveland lead at the end of the quarter. 28-22 early for um, in the early second quarter for Cleveland. That was their largest lead of the game. All of Golden State. All Golden State from that point on, they were excellent. Kevin Love elbowed in the head, 5-15, second quarter. 20-2 run for Golden State in the mid-second quarter. That was terrible. Cleveland sort of rallied back. But Kevin Love left the mid-third quarter after a head injury. Um, Golden State, um, they pretty much killed Cleveland in the second half. And improvements for Game 3, mostly Cleveland again. They need to play defense. They seem scared to get in front of Golden State. They need to shoot the basketball. They were afraid to shoot as well. And you can't win if you can't shoot. And I better go. Um, more substitutions keep guys to keep guys fresh for the game. Don't let LeBron do it all. Team is not successful, and LeBron leads in most or all the categories. He led in all the categories in game two. More ball movement and throws off the zone. Golden State needs to stop LeBron. He's the only producer in game two. More shooting inside. Most points can come off of threes. If the threes don't fall, they need another form of scoring another method of score. So thanks for watching. My computer's gonna die, so I better get off of here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.